realize he could, it could have been the other way. I could have, it could have been that I didn't escape. It could have been that I could, I could have lost my mind. How many people taking a drink? They were fine when they went to the club, and now they're crazy for the rest of their life. I could have been that one. People doing crazy stuff today, and you can't control. You can't control. I, I heard I heard of a story of a person who died from a heroin overdose. His mother was livid because he got some bad dope. Amen. Where you get the safe heroin? Where they selling that at? Where they selling the clean bag? Where you get that at? Where you get the good stuff? Come on now. It's the mercy of God. Yeah. 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 Mm. Somebody said the only way you know you get the best stuff is you got to grow it yourself. But did you make the seed? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did that go over your head? If you didn't cultivate the seed, you don't know what's going to come up. Amen. So, so my point is, stop. When you got time. Mm -hmm. so, so Jesus came to restore us back to that place. Not a title. Because anybody ever had a lot of money before and still knew you was on your way to hell? Shoot. Ha. <laughs> Folks get rich. They get rich around income tax time and you can't tell them nothing. They've never been to Applebee's. Good call them. They had Applebee's. This is a new place called Applebee's. They got these things called ribbons. And you looking at a child with the Applebee's for my prom. <laughs> come up, come up. They never been nowhere. This place called Zaxby's, man. <laughs> but we get rich, we hood rich. Mm -hmm. Y'all know about hood. Yeah. <laughs> hood rich don't last that long. Am I talking to anybody? I'm gonna preach off a little bit. I ain't gonna spend all of it. I ain't gonna spend it all. And before you know it, you got a hundred dollars. Yeah. You had ten thousand. Wow. And now you got a hundred. I'm gonna save them. I'm gonna save the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on. So he wants to restore us back to kingdom. Back to the place where we rule in the earth, not over each other. Come on, right. change in here. Good. Not over each other. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, you know what? You looking at me now, but, but God about to raise me up. And all of y'all who tried to hurt me, all of y'all that tried to do me in, watch. When I get up here, I'm going to stop it. Uh -uh. God's trying to restore us back to the, the rulership and the authority where we rule over the earth. Because people who understand that and have that mentality, they're all about trying to help people get wherever they are. In other words, they were 
were just like, look, children, my, my daddy better than yours, my mama better than yours, my king better than yours. That's what they would do. You better go and stay this thing. And so, how do we know? They witnessed Jesus open up blind eyes, cure fever in Peter's mother-in-law, turn water into wine, unstop deaf ears, make the lame walk, make the dumb talk, fetch money from the mouth of a fish, feed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread, curse a fig tree and say it can't live, cure a lunatic, heal leprosy, raise up the dead, stop issues of blood, raise a woman bent over with issues for 18 years and tell her to stand up straight. This Jesus that can that has the power to do all of that, surely he can put me back in the palace. Yes, amen. Amen. Ah. So we find, if you read now, it's going to make sense to you. All the times that Jesus is talking about the peaceful takeover, he's talking to his disciples. He's trying to encourage them of his purpose and his calling and that it is not what they think. He's coming to say to them, he came so that they may be saved. See, what they had was a good understanding of religious doctrine. They had a good understanding of history as you and I know it today. But what they didn't understand was that God did not want to just restore what was broken two generations back. He wanted to restore what they lost in the Garden of Eden. Donald Lawrence wrote a song says, let's get back to Eden. And he says, live on top of the world. And the reason he writes that song is, you may have never been to Eden. As a matter of fact, you might not know when I refer to Eden in the form of your ancestors, you might not know your ancestors just two times removed. But can I tell you whether you knew them or not, they still exist and they are still a part of you. And so we being the children of God, we got ancestors in a garden who had power to speak to a thing and call it whatever it was going to be. We have the blood running in us that come from some people that looked at something, didn't know what it was until they called it a cow. And you and I today know it as a cow because this man had authority to speak a thing and call it whatever it was going to be. That's the kind of authority we got. Come on. Come on. Oh, y'all got to get Come on. Thank you, Lord. The kind of authority that literally speaks to vegetation and it lives. The kind of authority that literally walks by something that's dried up and it's got to live again. And so God, Jesus, God sent Jesus to restore us to that kind of authority. But they didn't understand that because they're simply looking at, you know, one, two, three, four generations back. I don't know about you, but there was a promise made to me that when God brought my ancestors out of Egypt, somebody said, where's she going with this? See, if you go back and read in Exodus, I had some family that was in Egypt and they were under this awful rule by this man named Pharaoh. And God said that Pharaoh was going to lose my people because God you, you ain't got to get with me. I'm just talking about my family. He took them out of this place called Egypt. He said, I'm getting ready to bring forth my glory in this land called Egypt. I just need you to cover your house in the blood because when I come through, I got to know which house to hop over. I got to know which house to skip over. If I see the blood, I'm not going to bring harm to your house. I'm just talking about my family. And because somebody in my family put the blood on the doorpost.
Production.